Good morning and happy Vlogmas. Uh, today is Wednesday, my day off, um, or my day at home with the baby. Um, and I have so many things to do. It's the week before Christmas, of course, and we still have shopping to do. I have some baking to do, so you're gonna get to follow me around today. Um, let's take a look here. This is my planner. I've set it all up, um, sort of based off a rough estimation of what her nap schedule might be. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can actually just put her on this schedule and see how she does with it. Um, she has been doing pretty well with hour and a half naps with two hours in between. Um, but we'll see. She slept a little bit later than would have been ideal for the schedule, but we'll see. Like I said. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be making cookies today. I have to make the dough and then bake them after they've chilled. So we're going to the library and then um, we have two more sets of errands to do. Um, so that's that's the day, and uh, let's see how it goes. Okay. Phase one of cookie production is a go. Um, we're all cleaned up, I did the dishes. Uh, it's nine o'clock and the baby has been asleep for about half an hour. Um, hopefully she'll be asleep for another hour after this and then I have to get her ready to go to the library. Um, so until then, I'm gonna tackle some of the stuff on my to-do list, I think. She only napped uh, for 45 minutes. So about 15 minutes after that last clip, she woke up and we've just been sort of playing around. Um, playing on the floor, rolling around underneath the Christmas tree and stuff. Um, we go to the library every Wednesday that we can um, for a like baby's play group thingy and it's just like a half hour of story time and songs and games. And um, yeah, it's like a 15 minute drive there and back because it's at a, a farther library and that's what's available on Wednesdays, but I think it's nice and um, you know, gives her a chance to get out of the house and experience some, you know, other people and stuff. So I think it's good. And um, as my PFL is running out, we're only gonna be able to do this a couple more times. So I definitely want to uh, to take her this week since we can, even though it's busy, busy day. Um, I am not gonna show you inside because there's other people's kids there and that would be rude. Um, but uh, that's where we're headed. We're back home. The baby fell asleep in the car. I don't think I've read this one before. It's really sweet. We're going to read that for bedtime tonight, I think. Um, so now that the cookie dough has been chilling for a couple hours, we're going to be rolling those and baking them. So I've got the baby here just sleeping in her car seat because I don't want to put her in the crib. She was asleep for most of the car ride, so I don't know. She won't probably sleep as well in the car seat, but I'm afraid that she'll, she might sleep longer in the car seat. So we're gonna try that out. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to be working on these snickerdoodles. Of course, a minute after I recorded that, um, I was putting foil on the baking sheet and it woke her up. So I just put her down in the crib for a nap and um, she's not making noise. So, so far so good. I think that means I can keep listening to my podcast while I bake. Okay. We've got red and green snickerdoodles. I'm kind of proud of how these turned out. I've never done this recipe before, but they taste pretty good. And uh, they can't, they kind of taste fake. Um, like the, the, what's it? Colored sugar. You know how like there's a flavor to the food coloring that's a little bit plasticky and weird? Um, you can taste that, but the cookies themselves are good and they're festive, so we're going for it. Um, the last batch is in the oven, so I just have to do some dishes, and then uh, the baby will probably be waking up pretty soon. She's been down for about an hour and a half now, off and on. She woke up a couple times, but put herself back down. Um, and then, I think, if I'm looking at my schedule correctly, uh, we're going to head out and do a couple of errands. It's going on 1.30 and she's still asleep. So I think the 
quickest way to wake up a baby is to try to take a nap yourself. And as I'm feeling a little bit sleepy, I'm going to try to do that. I'll let you know how it goes. She slept for another 10 minutes and she was very wet so I had to change her and um, now we're eating a little bit of a snack and then we have some errands to run, right? <sighs> yes, she's too interested in this camera, I gotta turn it off so she'll eat. <laughs> I picked up some gifts and stuff. This is our friend Joan, we Hello. came over to say hi and to see their gorgeous nativity set all the way over there. Joan is Agnes's godmother. Yes, it's yep. a great honor. Ooh. And here is Agnes yes, and her cup. There we go. <laughs> she has a cup. <laughs> it's keeping her busy. Made it back home. Um, so many outings. We actually still have one more set of errands to run after the baby wakes up from this latest nap. Um, we have some more um, Christmas gift shopping to do. Uh, and hopefully there will be lights at the mall. It's like this tiny dingy little mall that like nobody cares about But it has a couple stores that we need to go to so hopefully there's some lights for the baby to look at Her longest stretch of awake time is after her latest nap of the day. So hopefully she'll still be in a good mood um, And it's gonna be a little bit later of an evening uh, than usual because it is almost five o'clock Which is why the dog is making noise. It's his dinner time. So I'm gonna do that next um, but I'm also going to edit the video while the baby's sleeping. Uh, so that's it from me today. Um, it's been, I guess, I mean, I, I packed my day pretty full, but I think I still did even better than I expected. Like, the cookies were easier than I thought they were going to be, um, and I've gotten some videos edited, and I'm going to do that again, obviously, this one. And, um, yeah, I feel I feel pretty productive about today. Like getting out and going to our friend's place. Um, she runs a retreat center and they have a holy hour there. So I was able to get some solid prayer time in and visit with a friend. And um, yeah, it's it's man, I cannot believe Christmas is less than a week away. Uh, so much still to do. I have a lot of gift wrapping. Uh, but anyway, thanks for following me around today. I hope you're having a great one. And um, I will see you in the video tomorrow. Bye.